This is Hidden Killers Week in Review. A look back at the most prolific stories of the week. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. Featuring author, psychologist, and daily contributor, Siobhan Scott. Lori Vallow Daybell making her appearance in court just this last week for a hearing as they get ready for another trial, which may or may not happen later in the year. The judge even acknowledging there may be too much discovery to keep the current date. So they're keeping an eye on that. But what was most shocking about Lori Vallow in court was Lori Vallow in court, her appearance looking like, well, jail is treating you or prison is treating you quite well got the big flowing hair walking in as if she was the bell of the ball joining me to discuss von scott psychotherapist and author um reactions to Lori vallow the other day yeah but my first thought she got a curling iron and they gave her her cosmetics bag back i mean yeah this was back in the glamour girl days not what we saw up in the other trial Mm -hmm. so um her her narcissism is on display, and she looked like, here I am in front of my audience again. Um, just that little, it's a psychotic glow, but she had that glow. Mm-hmm. I mean, she looks, to me, she looks clinically crazy, but um, yeah, yeah, I mean, she and, looked and, pretty. And, and with that being said that, you know, it's a psychotic glow to her. Um, if you're her attorney and this is how she's presenting herself in court, I can't imagine that this is necessarily what you're wanting. Um, I mean, I would think remorse kind of just, you you can, you know, look nice. There's there's nothing wrong with that. But, but I mean, it looked like she was walking into a game show is kind of what I was thinking. Um, I mean, how do you handle someone who, who is like this? This has got to be a difficult thing for her attorneys to try and, and get a handle on her just like it was for her last one. Yeah. And in all likelihood, there's very little control they have over her because she's Mm -hmm. just she's often in the heavenly realm. You know, she's living in a different reality. How do you think this is going to play out? Because there's two upcoming things uh, for Lori that are are going to likely have some sort of a psychological impact on her. Uh, Number one, her supposed end of the world. Uh, It's coming up. At least the date that she's thinking it's going to be. I believe it's like next month or something. Uh, When that doesn't happen, uh, I'm curious to see how she reacts. And number two, Chad's trial is coming up. We've already seen some inklings that part of the defense that Chad is going to be mounting is saying, uh, Lori made me do it. Lori influenced Mm -hmm. me and she influenced Mm -hmm. Alex. And we had no choice in this matter. And this is we were just, you know, almost brainwashed. When those two things come to light, do you think we're going to see a different Lori Vallow? I doubt it. You know, that's the thing about psychosis is it allows people to just completely alter reality at will. And, you know, when the world doesn't end, it'll be because the angel Moroni changed his mind or had a conference with Jesus. And, you know, they came up with a really good plan to delay it for a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, And these end of the world cults, I mean, they go back into the 1800s, you know, where there have been these religious groups that predict a, a certain date. And it obviously has and happened Mm -hmm. and they just come up with a reason and they just go on about their way and they change the date um it'll be interesting to see um yes the the to the degree chad tries to throw her under the bus and but my guess is with that that she'll just be able to tune it out and and it will bounce right off do you think we're going to see a very similar trial when it comes to Lori's? uh whenever that does take place as the last one where there's not a whole lot of defense that's mounted for her uh, in terms of aiming uh, at anybody, Chad. I mean, there's plenty of people that she could take aim at, but she certainly did into the last one. Even if Chad does this round, do you think that that, that may change or that she's just going to, like you said, kind of stay in that psychosis area and, and just keep keep on trucking? Yeah, I think keep on trucking is likely it. She's, she's off in a different world and she's going to stay there. Want to listen ad free? Want advanced access to all of our interviews before anyone else? Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. You get every episode commercial free. So you can binge on True Crime. Until you can binge no more. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts now. Or go to our podcast page and sign up now. More of the Hidden Killers podcast next.